So hi guys, this is Quick Matt by Hugo Sipnayan. So we're going to have our topic for this video about triangle postulate and theorem. Ito po ay bahagi po ng third quarter ng grade 8. So dito din sa atin guys, yung apat na triangle postulate na ating gagamitin sa ating mga next video na kung saan i-discuss natin sila isa-isa. But, but for now guys, bibigyan ko ng simple background tungkol sa mga triangle postulate at theorem na aking babanggitin. So, tara guys. So guys, before we have the triangle congruence, let's us try to recall muna ang tatawag nating triangle congruence. Now, two triangles are congruent if their vertices can be paired such that corresponding side are congruent and the corresponding angles are congruent. Dito guys, pumapasok yung CPCTC na kung saan yung corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. At guys, sinasabi na ang two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are congruent. So in vice versa guys, masabi na ang dalawang triangle congruent kung congruent ang kanilang mga parts which is the third, the three sides and the three angles. So in vice versa guys, kapag ang tatlong side at tatlong angle ng isang anong ng pair of triangles ay congruent so therefore yung dalawang triangle na yun guys ay congruent so having an example here guys kung meron po tayong tatlong angle at tatlong side nakita nyo meron pong green dito green markings yellow marking at saka blue marking sa kung saan guys pinapakita na yung tatlong side niya ay congruent same thing dito guys yellow yellow red red and blue blue for their angles. So, sabihin guys, yung kanilang side at kanilang angle are congruent. Ibig sabihin guys, yung, yung ating triangle HGT and triangle SNY are said to be congruent. Now, we're going to have our triangle postulate. At dapat tandaan nyo guys, yung bawat isa para magkameron kayo ng idea. I-recall din natin guys ito yung concept ng included side at saka included angle para mas madali nyong maintindihan kung paano nagwo-work ang isang triangle postulate na ating babanggitin. So, start with SAS congruence postulate. Now, ang sabi daw dito, two triangles are congruent if the two sides and included angle of a triangle is congruent respectively to the other two sides and included angle of another triangle. Kung napansin nyo guys, dito sa SAS, yung S automatic yun ay sides. Tapos yung A, angles. Kung napansin nyo sa SAS, yung A ay nasa gitna ng dalawang S. Ibig sabihin guys, if we're talking about an angle in between two sides, yun po yung lumalabas na included angle. Kaya sabi dito, side, angle, side, congruent postulate ang tawag mo sa kanya. So, side, angle, side. Na kung saan yung angle, guys, ay included angle. Kung, gag, kung magkakamayon ka, guys, ng illustration, ito po itsura niya. Kung si HGT ay congruent to SNY using the SAS congruent postulate, therefore, guys, maghanap tayo ng isang angle na congruent. At syempre, guys, yung angle na yun, nasa gitna ng dalawang side. So, we have HG and SN, which is the side, which is said to be congruent. At syempre guys, may isa pa siyang uh, sides, which is TH at saka YS. At napasin nyo guys, nasa gitna yung angle H. So, looking at this item guys, so, side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. At doon guys, ang galing yung side, angle, side, or our SAS congruent postulate. Okay, so makikita nyo po, sabi ko sa inyo guys, tatlong bahagi lamang ang kailangan para ma-prove natin na ang dalawang triangles ay congruent. At under ganito guys, isa yung sas natin, oh, side, angle, side. Or short for two side and included angle. Next natin guys ay angle, side, angle. From the word asa o oh, angle, side, angle, congruent postulate. So, angle, side, angle. So, dito naman guys, ang nasa gitna natin ay yung side. So, in definition guys, two triangles are congruent if the two angles and the included side 
of a triangle is congruent respectively to another two angles and an included side of a triangle. So, napansin nyo guys, nasa gitna yung kanyang S. Ibig sabihin, isa siyang included side. Ano bang yung definition ng included side? Siya po yung side na nasa gitna ng dalawang angle. At guys, in illustration, ito po yung tsura niya. We have HGT and SNY. Kung sila po ay congruent using our ASA or ASA congruent postulate, we're going to have congruent, ano, uh, angle S is congruent to angle H. So that will be the marking natin. Si angle G is congruent with angle N. Yun po yung green marking natin. At guys, yung in between them na side ay congruent. Okay? So, definitely guys, kung babasahin mo siya ng napakadaling paraan, angle, side, angle. And that is asa congruent or ASA. So, simple lang yan guys. Ha? Ang kailangan pong tandaan nyo, nasa gitna dapat yung side ng dalawang angle. Okay? At dito guys, punapasin nyo, parehas yung pwesto ng mga triangle. So, hindi ko, sa, hindi ko siya nilagyan guys ang rotation or flipping para makita nyo talaga na they are in ASA or SAS form. Okay? So, yun ang tinatawag po nating ASA congruent postulate. Now, next natin guys, ay medyo mas madali ito from the word SSS. Ano ba ito? Hindi po ito yung social security system. Ito po ay SSS third part side, side, side. So, ibig sabihin guys, kung yung three side of a one triangle is congruent to another three side of another triangle, therefore, the triangles are congruent. Ang ibig sabihin to guys, kapag yung tatlong side at yung tatlong side ng isang triangle ay congruent, automatic guys, both the triangles are congruent. Okay? In illustration guys, ito lang po yun. Kung si HG is congruent to SNY, the triangles, guys, looking at those items, guys, yung kanilang mga side ay congruent. Si HG ay kay SN. Okay, ito yung may green marking. Si N, eh, G, o oh, si NT, GT pala rather, si GT at si NY ay congruent at si YS at si TH ay congruent. So, the fact that all of their sides are congruent, guys. Automatic, they are congruent triangles. So, madali lang po tandaan, guys, ang SSS. Matic, side, 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 angle, postulate. At yun po yung pinakamadaling tandaan sa lahat ng congruent postulate. So, we have SAS, which is two side at an included angle. We have ASA, or dalawang angle at included side we have SSS which is our three sides guys ang, ang next naman natin ay ating theorem ang theorem pong ito ay tinatawag naman natin na angle angle side congruent theorem na kung saan guys dito meron tayong two angle at isang non included side ibig sabihin yung side na ito guys ay wala sa gitna ng dalawang angle na babanggitin ko so, in, in short, two angles or two triangles are congruent if the two angles and a non-included side of one triangles is congruent to two corresponding two angles and a non-included side of another triangle. In illustration, guys, ito ay tsura nun. Meron tayong isang angle na angle H at angle S. So, yung po ay parehas na yellow. We have angle G and angle N, which is said to be green. Ibig sabihin, pag kinuha natin guys ang gitna niya, yan ipapatak na angle side angle. Ibig sabihin, kukunin natin yung side na hindi nasa gitna ng dalawa. Kaya po kinuha ko yung GT at saka NY. So, by reading guys, ito po yung angle angle side or side angle angle congruent theorem at tandaan nyo guys, dapat wala sa gitna ng dalawang angle yung side na common 
para masabi natin siya ay angle angle side congruent theorem. So guys, yung po yung apat na congruent postulate and theorem na didiscuss natin sa ating mga susunod na video. So ano ba yung dapat tandaan natin guys? Kapag tayo ay nagpo-prove ng dalawang triangle side congruent, tatlong bahagi lang po o tatlong pairs ng bahagi lamang po ang kailangan nating i-prove para masabi na ang dalawang triangles ay congruent. Naku saan dito guys pumapasok yung ating triangle congruent postulate which is SSS, SAS, ASA at saka po AAS o yung tinatawag natin SAA theorem. So guys I hope you learned something from our video. This is quick math guys. God bless ingat po and see you on the next video guys.